You're coming out as a mature energy, a healer, while someone is sitting in a state of regret after repressing their thoughts or their feelings about you. Yet I also feel this energy is afraid to approach you after what they have done or what they have said. I sense you're on the mind or the hearts of many who are now thinking of you as something is now unfolding. Someone is thinking about how you handled this situation here with the Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. Because now someone is feeling stuck. Someone feels like they're stuck in a curse. This could be a generational curse, but someone is also stuck because of being stubborn. This is someone who lacks faith, lacks faith in some type of complacency. Hmm. I definitely feel un some family issues are now unfolding. Someone feels like they're stuck in the matrix, can't get out of something because they're going through a storm. This is someone who's going through some massive karmic debt, and when it rains, it definitely pours. Someone is going through a lot, not wanting you to see their struggle or know what they're going through. But for many of you, this is someone who is definitely going through a realization when it comes to you. This is someone who is going through a dark night for the soul. Someone is going through a dark night of the soul, chained by their own regrets, but still not giving in to what they have said or done in this situation. I feel, as I said before, you're on the hearts and minds of many because not everyone has been real with you. I feel someone is definitely at a crossroads when it comes to the relationship they have with you. This is a decision that needs to be made to evolve within a situation where there is definitely a fork in the road. Someone could be searching for a solution. This could be your energy. Someone's definitely at a crossroads when it comes to a false environment, a karmic partner, or something that is extremely toxic. I feel there's a lot of manipulation going on in this situation and someone is starting to see something needs to change. This is sudden change. Someone is definitely guarded about a situation they know is toxic, but I feel someone is attracted to these toxic ways. Someone's attracted to these toxic ways, causing you to see them differently because you feel they will never change. For some of you, you feel like you never know where you stand with this energy. They give you positive energy and then something goes left all of a sudden. This is because this energy is guarded to the truth of who they truly are causing something to feel like an ongoing battle when it comes to values, beliefs, opportunity. I feel there is destruction when dealing with this energy. There is definitely tower moments. I feel these tower moments are because someone didn't make the right decision or they're still not making the right decision. But I also feel the guilt. The guilt is starting to settle in. Someone is lacking belonging. Someone thought that you would never make this choice, but I feel you had to make a choice while someone pushed you away. This is someone who missed an opportunity with you. They missed an opportunity because of their poor choices. Um, I feel this could be a reality check for someone who wants to talk to you, but they feel restricted. Restricted by their guilt and the fact that they're going through a phase where they're experiencing a very dark side to a very unhealthy ego. I feel you're coming out as the healer because you are the one who was able to tame this energy. If not long term, I feel you're the best that ever tried. I feel you're the only one that made some type of progress with this energy, but someone is afraid of change. Someone is afraid to grow. Hmm. Wow. I feel like this is someone who misses you. Misses you so bad that it hurts. As it seems, they're having mental breakdowns or mental issues as they start to understand your abilities to figure things out or move on was beyond their scope of range. Someone didn't understand it fully, so they played games with you. I sense in many ways this energy put you in position to question their loyalty, love, and for many of you, you started to doubt your help. All the love and help that you gave as they always found a way to disappoint you in the end. Now someone is looking back on something, still not taking responsibility for the changes they caused. But I feel the more they reject or cause some type of doubt, the more they become obsessed with you.
obsessed with trying to control you obsessed with trying to control the situation we have scorpio energy here pluto energy in the reverse please take it how it resonates i also see leo here in the reverse someone sitting in a fear a space of fear doubt anxiety we have aquarius energy here as well someone is pretending to have bad memories or some type of memory loss when it comes to how they treated you someone is not wanting to acknowledge something so they appear to be scattered when it comes to their thoughts or their energy but it's only because they're not trying to acknowledge something they're trying to keep a truth from being exposed even when they know you both know the truth but i feel it's about what others believe in spite of what's really true this is why someone is dealing with a very dark side of an unhealthy ego because they're still being prideful selfish greedy when it comes to a situation still giving into them their impulses or desires this is someone who craves power and control in a situation and this is why they're still staying stuck and stubborn with you as this energy lacks faith when it comes to family issues or close bonds causing many of you to just let this go I, had, I feel you had to let go or release something. Find freedom in a situation where something backfired on someone. I feel something was returned to sender. Something was blocked. I feel your ancestors were blocking something when it comes to someone who was trying to cause some type of pain for you. I feel this energy was trying to do something out of spite to push you back towards the family. Push you back towards a connection that had no value for you. But I feel you protected your energy at all costs because you are already protected. Wow, Ace of Cups. So I feel there's could be a new beginning. There's masculine energy here needing to step into a space of strength. I feel someone was cheating, lying, being disloyal. There's a lot of deceit, games, secrets. Someone was being vindictive here. This is someone who is non-committal or not wanting to show how much they really care about you because someone is afraid of being hurt. So they're the ones dishing it. This is someone who can't take it, but they are definitely trying to give it because they lack moral strength, value, and reasoning. This is someone who should be wiser, but due to their shadow self, this energy has been very reckless, dishonest, and trying to get a rise out of you. Someone chose money over love. Someone has an unhealthy ego, judgmental. Uh, possibly having the street mentality. This is someone who is playing the victim even though they've made some very low vibrational choices when it comes to you. In fact, I feel this is someone who is causing you to walk away or cut the cord because they have violated your energy, trying to use you as a supply or trying to use you as a scapegoat. You're no longer de dealing with someone's lies and dishonesty. I feel something is coming out. Something is being revealed. Something is being rewarded when it comes to you. We're going to get into that. Have yeah, third eye energy, higher wisdom. Someone needs to get it together. Open up their third eye when it comes to you and find some clarity to make it right. Because if they don't, someone's going to be lost and dealing with heavy regret when it comes to abandoning or losing you. Because you gave this energy enough time to get it right. Now someone could be sitting in a space of poverty. Someone couldn't get it together. Someone made the wrong choice. Now they're trying to backtrack. Someone is... Feeling like they need to make a U-turn. They know there's a dead end ahead. Something was not affected. You were able to get through something that was supposedly supposed to break you down. But I feel someone definitely underestimated you and the most high who guides you. I feel this energy is not self-aware. But I feel you're stepping into an energy where you may be untouchable. Oh, uh, yeah. This is sudden change. Someone is moving or moving up, elevating in some type of way. This could be in home, job, car. Please take it how it resonates. But something is elevating for you as you come out of a toxic environment where you could have been miserable. There was no peace. I feel there was no harmony within a situation where you were definitely trying to compromise. Now there is an unexpected change here. Wow. The floodgates are being open. Wow. So the floodgates are being open for you. Someone didn't see this coming. Someone didn't see you coming out of this situation where there's a lot of lies, deceit, and dishonesty. Even lies being spilled about you. This is only to keep you distracted, keep you down, or out of alignment. 
but I definitely feel something is coming your way. The floodgates have been opened. There is complete a access here. Wishes are granted. Angelic guidance. For many of you, you're praying, you're manifesting in a situation where something is about to be exposed here. This is a truth. This is a victory even after there was no closure. I also feel there could be new love for many of you. Please take it how it resonates. And for those who are not interested in that path, I feel there is something new created or abundant coming your way. This is involving a new chapter, a new chapter of strength and close bonds. Valued connections. Wow. This is unconditional. You've been strong enough for a very long time. Now, I feel your wildest dreams are about to be put into fruition. We also have Pisces energy here. Someone regrets what they've done in the past, but I feel it was all coming from a very petty space. Someone loves you dearly, but I feel this energy never played the role they were supposed to play in this situation. Someone definitely abused their position. Not thinking that things would somehow change. You're coming out as the healer. Someone who is truly protected over someone who is pretending to have bad thoughts or some type of illusion about the past. But I feel this energy is still watching, waiting, wanting to talk, but still feeling restricted. Hmm. Let's get one more. We have Virgo energy here as well. Some of you are creators. Someone's very apprehensive. We have Aries energy here as well. So someone is definitely sitting in a space where they're wanting to be spontaneous towards you, but they feel you're in solitude, protecting your energy, causing a lot of guilt because of their addictions and toxic ways. This is someone who feels guilty about what they've done, but they're still not speaking up. They're still not making any changes because there is built up anxiety, built up fears, built up rage. I feel like there's some type of dis dysfunction when dealing with this energy. They're completely lost. Virgo energy here is a thinker. So I definitely feel someone is wanting to come your way, but they feel like they're no longer welcome. This energy is wanting to reach out, wanting to make some type of changes, but they feel that like you would never see them the same. Let's get some more energy here. Hmm. I definitely feel like this is someone who is notorious for pushing your buttons. I feel this is someone who is testing your boundaries, yet it seems they're coming to a space where they're starting to realize you didn't deserve the pain and disappointment at all. Yet they have always found a way to dismiss or distract from your emotions, distort the truth, causing you to be more mindful of what they say or even what you say because they always seem to use it against you. But also feel their lies and disappointments have taken a new low. And this is why you feel like you can't deal with this. This is why many of you are in solitude, protecting your peace, protecting your healing energy. I feel you are definitely necessary and very capable. But I feel this energy having love for you, it's just not enough. It's just not enough to continue this cycle because someone is completely broken while you're trying your best to find your way. I feel you going into solitude or moving forward from this situation is causing many of you to find a way without this energy. Moving on from what you feel is owed to you as many, wow, many of these energies don't have the tools to give you what you need. They're too toxic. I feel the toxic ways eventually taught you to live better without them. We have the Page of Cups energy. There's poor communication between the two of you or between a group of energies here where someone's looking to have attention by speaking on your name. But I also feel someone is overwhelmed because nothing is going their way for swords. Uh, someone is thinking about the financial issues they're going through and how you could possibly help them. This could be through wise advice or just helping someone financially or being of great help as you usually are. But I feel this energy has caused a ten of wands moment here where there is overload of stress and 
burden when dealing with the situation where many of you are choosing not to. Someone feels like this energy needs to go through it to get through it or even understand who you truly are. That is definitely working in this season because someone is realizing they would have been better off with you than without you. This is someone who realizes that you may be focused and ambitious in a different situation and they're wanting your attention here with the Six of Wands energy, but I feel like you're putting your energy into a new endeavor a new cycle, a new phase in life, three of pentacles. I feel someone is burdened by that, stressed out because they know they're responsible for the separation, the divide, and I feel there's a, a lack of focus. Ooh, major challenge here. Someone has a lot of challenges here. Page of Cups energy. They're very emotional about that. This is someone who still sees you as family someone who is necessary in their life, but I feel this energy has yet to do the things they need to do to make it right. Ten of Wands energy, this is also a burden for them, but I feel this energy is now realizing they should have respected connection better than they did. Hmm. Now there's a sense of silence or a sense of silent remorse for source energy. Someone is overloaded by their stress and anxiety. There's a need for recuperation or rest, but they have no support for swords. Here with the four swords energy, I'm also getting the energy of someone wanting to lay something to rest. They're burnt out or they have burnt you out. I feel someone is completely exhausted because everything has backfired. Everything has completely backfired, all because they thought that you would suffer from their silence or the distance. Someone thought that you would suffer without them, <laughs> yet the ones who are lost and in regret isn't you, because this energy is still trying to figure things out. Figure out a way to make you feel bad for your silence or your choices against them, but I feel you have to protect self. Now this energy is pretending it is what it is, when truthfully, they wish they could stand next to you. They wish things were like it used to be when things were good, but I feel you're not in that energy of being pulled back into a cycle where there's a lot of dysfunction, causing this energy to stay in a state of heartbreak, knowing they can't reach you. Hmm. Many of you have already walked away. If you haven't walked away yet, I feel you're about to. Hmm. I feel you can do only as much as you can when someone else is unwilling to change. This has just become more of a burden, a new responsibility that shouldn't be there. And I sense in many ways there's a lot of regrets. I feel there's regrets and emotions that come and go like waves, but someone is truly drowning in it, believing the truth wasn't valid if others didn't believe it. But now that things have taken a, tar a dark turn, many will have to acknowledge you were right all along, which I sense for many of these energies, it won't be by choice. I feel many of these energies won't admit something by choice, but I sense many will choose to do it only to save face or hide their betrayals, keep you from asking questions that they cannot answer. Someone's not wanting to bring up the past because they don't have the right answers. They don't have anything that will keep you from leaving or wanting to separate yourself from the situation. Someone doesn't want you to leave completely. I feel your actions lately are definitely shocking for someone where your silence is definitely deadly. Wow, okay, so I feel like you've been generous here. Six of Pentacles energy. You shared your wealth, your energy, your light with someone who was a complete fool. This is a foolish energy who may have taken a risk and got no reward. They were very reckless when speaking of you or about you. Wow, no strength, no compromise. I feel no strength and no compromise when it comes to being rational, cause something to end with you. This is a spiritual transformation for many of you, but I feel this is karma for others. Someone's going to have to watch you win. I feel there's a new beginning coming for you, the star, the chosen one. Where someone is hoping that you come out of this space of fear of dealing with them because you have changed in so many ways when it comes to accepting what was given. I feel this ending had to be done. Hmm. I feel you have a lot of hope now. Hope and choices. I feel this ending was for you. I don't know how that fits, but that's what it's coming out as. The ending, this harsh ending, 
was not supposed to break you. It was supposed to elevate you. You're coming out as the star that's being illuminated. I feel the world is in your hands. I feel these choices could not come to fruition if you were attached to what should be forgotten. I feel there was no strength and compromise causing some type of ending, but this ending only created a new beginning. Ace of Cups. Here with this Ace of Cups energy, this is new love, new relationships, compassion, creativity coming into your life. I feel many of you could be working on something that's about to bring you into the light of the new. The world card is here. This is a realization that the world is in your hands. I feel you are the light. Will of Fortune energy here. There's chances. There's opportunity. There's something that is about to illuminate your life. The world is in your hand. I feel there's achievement on your on your path or on your journey. I feel there's chance within cycles and phases. There's good luck, fortune here. Page of Swords energy. So this Page of Swords energy is someone who is truly curious about you. This Page of Swords energy is someone who is curious, but still not making the right choices. Hmm. There's no communication. I feel this is someone who is all talk, but not really giving in to what is really true. They're just saying things to get you to compromise or believing them again. But I feel there will be a ten of swords moment with, with this energy because they're still bitter. This is someone who's still bitter and still causing something to be a dead end with you. There's no victory. Ace of Swords is in the reverse. Here with the Ace of Swords in the reverse, this is cloudy judgment. Someone's still not seeing things in the right way, still not making the right decisions. There's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of confusion when it comes to communication or someone telling the truth because they're not being honest. Three of Swords, this is just heartbreak and unhappiness. True loss. No reward. This is trauma and grief when dealing with the situation. No compromise has brought a new beginning for you. I feel this is another reason why someone is beside themselves. I feel this energy has been a fool on this reckless journey with you. Whether it's lies, cheating, stealing for some of you, scheming, hiding their identity, being strategic, and someone daring to make a fool out of themselves. This is someone who has very toxic ways or habits, immoral ways of being. As I said before, this is someone who is like stuck to their toxic ways of being. They're so used to the dysfunction someone is not wanting to be untied from it this is causing many of you to release something ten of swords this was a very harsh ending if not a very hard decision to make ten of swords is a deep wound uh, where there's lost crisis and betrayal no recovery for many of you something needed to be let go i feel you have to let go of being trapped up in a situation wow tire moments oh okay so I feel like you're no longer wanting to be stagnated. Someone is sabotaging something with you intentionally and I feel there's too much trauma and loss connected to it. I feel there's an unexpected tragedy that's going to bring in this new perspective, a new beginning. Joy. Celebration. This is the Sun card. Wow, Three of Cups energy. There's a lot of people involved here, or there could be new abundance involving others. Hmm. I feel like someone is not wanting to see the truth, causing you to make a choice. Someone's still playing games with you, even though you feel remorseful for this energy. Someone needs to learn something the hard way. It may be the only way they'll learn. I feel for many of you, you've been in the energy of wanting to help wanting to be there but I feel there is only going to be a tower moment if you don't see the truth because this is going to burn down regardless high priestess energy here oh wow okay so this is definitely going in a different way for you I feel like this is startling someone blindsided you by disrespecting this connection now something is changing in your world i feel these are very small changes and many of you can't see it and others you see it you smell it coming your way in fact i feel there is a lot of things that's been weighing you down that isn't yours to carry well like many of us there are struggles regrets mistakes from the past 
that may come to mind from time to time as they are truly meant to develop and prepare you as well as rearrange and change situations that is meant to direct you to your true path, what it's meant to be. As you must remember, the Most High won't put you through anything without the intentions of replacing it tenfold. As you're coming out as the High Priestess, someone who has been through it and now wiser for it. I feel you are a very intuitive energy who has been through a lot. You have been through the storm, but I feel you're about to come out of this storm a better person, a better you. And I sense in many ways that impossible thing you've been waiting for is about to come to fruition as major doors are about to be open for you, shining a light on many things as well as why you had to go through this. As many of these ongoing battles are about to become an afterthought for you. As I said before, these tower moments, these disappointments, these bad relationships all had purpose, even the heartbreak, because now you are wiser forward and the world is truly in your hands. I feel there is a deeper meaning for everything that you've gone through. Five of Cups, sadness and misery. There was purpose for it. It wasn't just to bring you pain as your struggles and difficulties never meant you were wrong. Yet some things needed to happen to make things right again. As the Most High has heard and saw things you didn't or even couldn't. Now the right things and people are being placed in your life instead. I feel someone definitely missed the mark when dealing with your situations, not realizing throwing you away or throwing away the relationship they had with you would only bring you back to a better space without them. As the Most High is doing things to enrich your life, you just have to remember to keep your faith. Wow, Eight of Wands energy here. This is fast movement. Hmm. So I definitely feel something is about to happen here. There are small challenges that you're still getting through, but I also feel there's fast movement in a positive direction where many of you are about to see, see change. So try to, your best not to question the doors that are closed or even open as you just have to trust the process because this is happening for you regardless. Ace of Wands and the Eight of Wands. This is a new beginning and it is coming in your way. I feel you're about to get results on something that you didn't expect. For some of you, this is something that was unexpected totally. Hmm. This is relief. Six of Swords energy. You didn't see this coming, but I definitely feel you going into calm, calmer waters created this new abundance for you. I feel judgment is being served here. This is forgiveness and some, some type of awakening when it comes to a truth that was not spoken. I see you going into calmer waters when it comes to the Five of Wands energy, where there is a lot of egos, chaos, competition, petty energy, conflict, and someone who has a temper. I feel this is a lot of arguments and disagreements that you can do without. The Moon card is in the reverse. This is truth, hidden secrets. I feel there's a group of people holding back something from you, something that is not supposed to be spoken, but I feel regardless of something that is hidden, you will find your closure, your clarity anyways. Page of Swords Energy, this is good news. You definitely have good news coming your way. Nine of Pentacles, good news and wealth. I see you thriving in a big way. So Nine of Pentacles as well as the Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. So we have Nine, Eight, and Ten out here seven of pentacles well so i don't see something coming your way where there's a high-end situation or you're thriving in a business i feel something is about to occur financially this could also be in relationships i feel there's a lot of self-improvement or you could be self-employed there's a new career there could be new endeavors coming from your creativity i also feel there's attention to detail that is ca causing you to be qualified we also have someone stepping into inheritance that is not for everyone please take it how it resonates but something is about to trickle down to you. Something is about to be very unexpected. But I also feel you're very happy about this unexpected change. There is a deed here. Someone could be receiving a home or a family business is being... Hmm. Well, whatever this is, you don't even know about it. 
it feels like you don't know anything about it. This is why it's so unexpected. After all of the chaos, you're about to come up on top here. I feel you're about to come out wiser. This could also be related to someone it's new growth. There's long-term energy here with the Seven of Pentacles energy. Someone could be retiring. Please take it how it resonates, but I feel you have invested your time and money wisely. And this is why these changes are coming your way. For those of you who are getting new relationships or a new bond, this is, this is someone coming out as the King of Cups. This is someone who is very wise, tolerable, a good person throughout. Wow. This is also someone who is being spiritually guided to you. This could be a reconciliation or someone who is completely changed in some way. I feel your energies are starting to match. I feel this is someone who is coming in to your life to lay a foundation and grow with you. And others, I feel you're laying your own foundation. Grounded energy. You're developing, planning. I feel there's good money, grooming. I see success coming your way. Five of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, all the Pentacles are out here. Even the page, Ace of Pentacles. So what I'm getting here, I see change coming your way when it comes to hardship. For those who are in a sense of bankruptcy or public assistance, I see you finding your way. I see you juggling something here with the Two of Pentacles, but I also see you budgeting, balancing your finances, balancing your foundation, balancing the home. You're doing what's, what's necessary to have this change come your way. I feel this is not just coming out of nowhere. I feel this is something you have put your heart, your love, your energy into, and it's about to make a true change. Ace of Pentacles energy here. Here with this Ace of Pentacles, this is new abundance coming your way. This is manifestation. This is prayer. You prayed for it. And now you're about to get it abundantly. I feel your structure is about to change. I feel you are also very disciplined here with the King of Swords. I feel you are apprehensive. There is a sense of doubt, but I feel you should clear it away because this was meant for you. Wow. Oh, well, travel. Someone's going to be tra traveling or meeting someone very charming. Someone is definitely a natural born leader. This could be you or the energy coming your way. But there is definitely new beginnings coming for you. Two of Wands energy, this is good news, new passion, creativity, travel, excitement, even a rebirth, or even just a birth. Wow, vivacious energy of the Queen of Wands. I definitely feel you are very funny, stylish, and very optimistic about life. Queen of Cups, you are also very shy, possibly even emotional. Please take it how it resonates, but you are pretty on the inside as well as the outside. There is new beginnings here coming your way, wish fulfillment, Nine of Cups positivity wow positivity after fatigue and being guarded or exhausted by something for those of you who are guarded i feel if there's a new partnership coming in a way this is going to enlighten you this is going to bring you to a space of enlightenment where you're going to change emotionally spiritually there is a true bond here i feel there is something that's being prepared a hero wow Someone who is not impatient but still looking for you. For many of you, you're coming out as the queen, the queen of pentacles and the high priestess. This is someone who is stepping into a happy moment, a space of true achievement, whether that is in finance, career, new cycles, family. Something is definitely clear here. And for me, this is something you've been dreaming of. But I feel you feel a sense of doubt, ace of swords. Hmm. Someone also has a very negative attitude about you coming into a new. If someone knows that you are changing, they just don't know how or in what direction. But we also have the Knight of Cups here. Definitely someone is getting into a new relationship here. This is someone who is very authentic. They're going to offer you love on a different level. Someone is definitely in Hermit mode, but after Hermit mode, Nine of Swords energy. Wow. After this energy of having a sense of lawlessness or not being focused something is about to be put in perspective for you i feel you're very eager energy someone is wanting your attention but they feel like you're too powerful right now very resourceful energy the lover's card someone is definitely stepping into a space where there will be love after feeling like you were bullied someone closed off your heart but now something is being awakened you're stepping out as the empress Someone who has put 
as a priority, someone who is special. So in so many ways, I sense major changes are coming your way as there seems to be good health and good relationship, blessings surrounding you, where I see you gaining back more than you have lost. So I sense in many ways you should still be in a sense of being patient, open-minded on this journey, as it was never a battle you were meant to lose. As I sense the Most High is about to bless you in many ways and so much abundance so you can continue to be a blessing to those around you. I hope you guys have enjoyed this reading.